These are going for the judges, right? Yes. This fish, I can tell you, is perfectly cooked. <laughs> that makes me feel so relief. Even if I go home, I think I'm going to be really proud that Peter's just like perfect, perfect, perfect with all my fish. Not bad, Cassidy. Yeah. Let's get them up quickly, OK? They look really nice, though. Thank you. Service. Jack, how are you, mate? Good, thanks. So tell me, what, what dish are you cooking? I'm cooking a steamed coral trout with asparagus and tea-infused consomme. Sounds absolutely delicious. What's the biggest worry you have? Um, well, the consomme. Yeah. I need to make sure that it's perfect. Now, consomme is, is basically a, a clarification yeah. of, of a stock. Yeah. So you're using protein. What have you got in there? The chicken. Chicken and egg whites? Egg whites, yeah. Yeah. And basically, that's going to separate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you've the... got the clear stock underneath. That's right. It's, it's got to be clear, because yeah. that's the whole yeah. idea is when you look at it, you go, what's that? I'm drinking, like, hot water. Yeah, yeah. But then when you taste it, it's like, bang, this big, big explosion. It, it, that's, a, that's a tough job, that one. Yeah. I, I didn't get to make a consomme. I think I was about a third or fourth year apprentice. Oh, well, <laughs> good luck, man. Thank you. Today I'll be cooking ocean trout with sauce cream and um, salmon pearls. OK, now what we've got to do with this is steam it for four minutes. All right. Probably the hardest part of this dish, I believe, is the trout. You have to get two fillets together, put that on glad wrap and just keep rolling it tightly, twist the ends, then you have to steam that. After it has been steamed, that has to go into the fridge. Then you have to cut it, then you have to sear it, then you have to bake it, then you have to serve it. Isabella, how are you going? Hello. I'm going good, thanks. What dish are you cooking today? Um, I'm cooking a seafood consomme with a tea crusted flathead and some poached scampi. Wow, and so Jack's doing consomme and you're doing consomme yeah. too. It's a battle of the consommes. Yeah. yeah. Your knife skills, have a look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Go get it. Look at When I look down at my puree, I'm not really happy with it because it's, you know, it's got bumps in it. What we'll do is we'll just pass it through a fine sieve. OK, yep. If I have a lumpy puree, um, it will be my downfall. OK, so see that? Yeah. That's fantastic. You happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy. If it cooks too long yeah. and that raft breaks up, it will make the stock really cloudy. Let it settle and yeah. then start to pass yeah, it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? But you've got to be really gentle when you do that. Peter told me that the rings of circle pastry might be one of the hardest parts and um, because you can't have them broken. To make the pastry, you have to butter two big pastries together, slice them thinly, then um, put it around the mould. Good. Yeah. Think you're going to be ready on time? Just starting on my zucchini fowls, and I've got plenty of time to go. So what I'm else do you have to add to that? Um, to the stock. Well, um, well. Read your recipe. When Peter came over and said I was missing out something from my consomme, and I was pretty sure I haven't. I'd read it over and over and over again. I've done what it said. I'm just going to leave it because he must have something wrong with his taste buds at the moment because I have done what I'm supposed to do. Your tea. Thank you. Now. Thank God Peter pointed out the missing ingredient in my consomme. The tea. Without the tea, it wouldn't have been tea scented consomme. And it's smoked with cinnamon wood. Oh. So, so remember that, and your consomme is starting to bubble up. I'd be very careful. Uh, I reckon I should take it out now. Should I, I think you should too. Right, this is where the pressure builds in a commercial kitchen. You've got half an hour till service time. That means the sound of happy customers walking through those doors. Come on, guys. Keep it going. The worst thing that could stuff up with my consomme is me breaking the raft. If you get bits of raft in, it's not a consomme. I'm really hoping that my consomme is so right and so perfect that I can get one of those spots in the final four. Oh my god, I've come to As my mum walked in and saw me, I nearly had a heart attack. What the? Seeing my mum walk in, I'm shocked. I see mum over there, I give her a little wave, and 
the excitement of owning a restaurant comes in. And you know, I'm looking around for my mum and I see her and then I realise, oh my gosh, I've just got to keep on cooking. I've got stuff to do, get to service. <laughs> These are going for the judges, right? Yes. This fish, I can tell you, is perfectly cooked. And that makes me feel so relief. Even if I go home, I think I'm going to be really proud that Peter's just like perfect, perfect, perfect with all my fish. Not bad, Cassidy. Yeah. Let's get them up quickly, OK? They look really nice, though. Thank you. Service. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Well, this is Cassidy's dish, and she's done a roasted Murray cod with little beluga lentils, onions, artichokes, and these little tobacco rings, which are actually onion rings. A really gorgeous-looking dish, quite complex. Shall we taste? I really enjoyed that. There's a lot going on on that plate. All beautifully done. My fish was perfectly cooked on the inside, but would have loved it to be crispy. We all like yeah. crispy skin. It's much easier to cut through. But apart from that, I think she's she's executed this dish really, really well. I'd love to see that corn puree a little bit brighter, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more corny when, when you taste it. And that's really a minor pick for what is a really great representation of one of Peter Kuravita's dishes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did my child cook this? All the flavours go together so well. I'm totally blown away. Come on, let's go, mate. Let's go. Oh, burnt. I'm not happy with the stock. It's not hot enough. Slowly does it. Good work, Pia. That's better. A bit of encouragement is nice. Good boy. You're doing a really good job. Come on. You happy with them? Not really. Let's hope they taste good. They look like you've cooked them well. We're going for the judges. Waiters. Sending those four dishes out to the judges, I was a bit nervous, but um, it's just whatever they say. Well, Pierre's made us this dish. It's ocean trout with sauce creme and salmon pearls. It looks so spectacular. I mean, these beautiful rings, which honestly, at the start of the day, I thought he would never get up. It looks beautiful. What a lot of work's gone into this dish. Yeah. I love that uh, veggies tang to the sauce creme. Um, my asparagus is perfect. Those salmon eggs work so beautifully with those. And I, I love how beautiful that tower of ocean trout looks. The problem for me is that my ocean trout isn't cooked in the middle. Um, I don't mind eating sashimi, but I think when you're actually the young chef in Peter Kuravich's kitchen, you've got to do the recipe the way Peter would want it. How's your fish, George? That is much better. Yeah. Mine's cooked perfectly. It's really delicious. I've got a beautiful crisp collar. I can't really fault the dish too much. I think he's done a really tremendous job. He's a brilliant little mm. cook. And watch him from here cooking. Yeah. And he's going absolutely, for it. He's going for it. And I love that. Love that to bits. This is beautiful. Never in my wildest dreams did I think he was going to serve me a dish like this. It's just lovely. But they look perfectly cooked as well. Yeah. How are we going? Good, it's just garnishing. Ready to go? Yeah. Just two at a time, right? Good. Well done. Cooked brilliantly, and the only thing I thought maybe I could have done better was that service. Just the start of it, I was a bit frantic, but other than that... I just can't believe our kids have made these dishes. I'm really proud of her. I think she's done an amazing job in such a beautiful Dad, place. Please. In a different kitchen. Oh, I'm just blown away. Look at that. Thank you. Smell that, it's unbelievable. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Here's Isabella's dish, seafood consomme with tea-crusted flathead, poached scampi, daikon and vongole. Yes. Almost exactly like Peter's dish. That is really impressive, but what would it taste like? The way she's cooked the fish, I think she's she couldn't have cooked it better, really. It's really moist on the inside and crunchy on the outside. 
She's done a really fabulous job. I actually find it really hard to believe that a, a 12 year old has um, prepared this entire dish. Everything about it, the scampi is perfect. The daikon, beautifully cut, perfectly crisp. The vongolet, delicious. I really can't, I can't fault this dish. I think it's, mm. it's really amazing. Let's just start fighting. Service, please. I've put up all four dishes for the judges. Let's go, guys. Jack, you now have to start thinking about feeding the rest of the restaurant. Yeah. Ooh. Brilliant. Thank you. This is Jack's dish, and he's done a steamed coral trout with a tea-infused consomme, shiitake, and, of course, that beautiful little steamed zucchini flower. It's, it just smells so beautiful. It yeah. perfumes mm. the air. I mean, that, that's coming from that consomme. And beautifully clear as well, which is great. Does this look like a flying fish dish to you guys? Or I does reckon it does. I reckon, you can, yeah. I reckon you can pass it off. Well, let's taste. Great. Let's do that. See how he's done. Jack's produced a really beautiful, delicate um, fish dish here. That coral trout is just beautiful. You can still taste its lovely sweetness and it's perfectly poached, particularly in the middle. It's really silky. The consomme was lovely and clean and you could just taste the smokiness of the tea coming through. I think he's he's done a beautiful job with this dish. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. And that, that consomme, which has a, a, a little bit of the tea's flavour, I think that's a, a beautiful example of a, a really clean, classic flying fish dish. Yeah, he's just amazed at being somewhere like this. He just would never have dreamed of it, uh, not from Tassie anyway. So it's, it's incredible.